Well, so far this year, 15 pedestrians have died on Hawaii's roads. That's the number of fatalities reported in all of last year. The numbers are frightening, but there are ways to keep safe while walking and while driving. Our good friend Lance Ray from Walkwise Hawaii joins us now with some tips. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning. And you always have that vest on. And first of all, before we get to the questions <laughs> and the numbers, it's important to be seen. It's always important to be visible while walking across the street. And we always think about you know, wearing something bright and reflective that you do it at night, but actually you need to do it during the daytime as well, because you know when you're driving down the street, you see construction workers and HPD working alongside the roadway, mm -hmm. they're usually wearing a safety vest, right? right? And that's to be visible. You need to be visible day and night. And what are some of the misconceptions when it comes to pedestrian crashes and accidents in Hawaii? Well, uh, one of the biggest misconceptions is that um, the majority of pedestrian crashes involve senior citizens, and that's no longer true. About 10 years ago, um, we saw seniors 65 and over representing probably 65 to 75 percent of the pedestrian crashes happening there. Today, or actually in the past six or seven years, we've seen senior fatalities reduce to about um, 33 and a third percent for the past several years. Mm -hmm. Still, that's too many fatalities. Just right. you know, just, even though the numbers are coming down, um, that's just too many people getting hit in our roadways. Why are the numbers different? Well, the numbers are changing one because we've been reaching out to senior citizens and changing the way they walk. Uh, Walkwise, who I originally was called Walkwise Kapuna. And we went, we went directly to the senior centers to change the way they walk. Mm -hmm. But if the senior fatalities are coming down, that means who else is going up? Younger people, right? Mm. They're on their cell phones. Right. They're distracted. A lot of people have a false sense of security when crossing the street. You know, they enter that crosswalk and they think there's an invisible force field right. that's right. going to protect them from a driver that's mm -hmm. not paying attention. There's something that you just said, if we could rewind, you mm -hmm. said you changed the way Kapuna walk. Yes. What does that mean? Well, we changed the way that um, they behave when they're walking at night. Because a lot of Kapuna, they have to get their exercise, mm -hmm. right? So we went out there and we told them, you need to wear a vest when you're walking on the street. So you'll see more and more Kapuna over the past decade wearing safety vests and paying attention. Maybe not going out so early in the morning when it's dark so they can be more mm. visible. Perhaps not going out late at night. They changed their behavior, and as a result, we're seeing them being more safe today than they were 10 years ago. And can you give us some tips for drivers when it come to, comes to pedestrians? Because drivers are responsible for keeping pedestrians safe as well. That is correct. Um, the Department of Health did a, a survey and they found out that 53% of the time it's the driver's fault and 43% of the time it's the um, pedestrian's fault. Mm -hmm. So a couple tips here. Number one is, um, uh, you know, take your phone out put it away, you know. Another tip that you can do here is be aware that pedestrians can be hidden from view by stopped vehicles on multi-lane street. It happens to us all the time as you're driving down King Street, mm -hmm. you see people trying to cross in a mid-block crosswalk. Also, watch out for pedestrians backing out of driveways, you know, especially when you're um, in the parking lot um, at the shopping center. Little kids forget um, their pedestrian behavior when they're in a parking lot, right? right? And on the street, they're perfect. They hold on hands to mom, but the minute they get into the Costco parking lot, they just they run out wild. there. They yeah. go wild. They go wild. So be really, really careful about that when you're backing up your car. Yes. And now that you have uh, tips for drivers, mm -hmm. what about tips for pedestrians? You say wear something bright, maybe not go out when it's very dark. Well, we need to go out. We have to go out when we're right. But just remember that you know, even when you're walking in the urban core of Honolulu, you know, there's lights out there. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there's still pukas of dark they need to be seen there. So number one is always always cross the street at a crosswalk whenever you get a chance. Mm -hmm. Always um, do not enter the crosswalk when the light indicator is counting down. So if you see it going 13, 12, you should not enter. Okay, okay. that's what I was going to ask yeah, you because yeah. a lot of people get that mixed up. They yeah. think as long as they're a flashing hand they or think, something. I've got 12 seconds. Yes, I can make and it three more seconds. Like, no, it's as soon you're as that turns red, to, yeah. you're not supposed to be in that yeah. crosswalk. It's meant right? for the people already in the crosswalk, not the people trying to get into the crosswalk. Okay. And of course, always wear bright reflective clothing when you're walking at night. Um, and the other thing is um, always pay attention. Just because I'm wearing a vest doesn't mean a car is not going to accidentally <laughs> right. hit me. You know, right. Nobody gets in their car every day to say, I'm going to hit somebody. We don't. And unfortunately, yeah. even if you're in a marked crosswalk mm -hmm. and you're in there when you should be, sometimes pe the drivers aren't paying attention or something They're happens. They're not paying right? attention. Just the, the recent incident happening in New York City with mm -hmm. our Hawaii's very own Ruthie Ann Miles. You know, things like that happen all the time and they need to stop, you know. Now, there is an event coming up on Monday. You're partnering yes. with HPD. We're partnering with Ho uh, the Honolulu Police Department's community policing teams. Uh, we have nine districts uh, on the, in the county. So in each of the districts, the community policing teams and Walkwise Hawaii volunteers will be sign waving to remind people to be cognizant of pedestrian behavior while you're while crossing the street. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pay attention and slow down. Yeah. Put down your phone or anything that might be a distraction, right? That is correct. All right. Yes. Thank you again, Lance. Such, such a hard worker trying to get the word out there, but thank you for all that you do for, for us.
us and for Hawaii. Thank you very much.